So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and yesterday I posted a video regarding the Murph challenge you can see here on the video I posted over here it's regarding the Murph challenge okay this is the AI agent voice, voice challenge okay now here the day has been started we'll cover all each and everything in this video so first of all before we start make sure you subscribe the channel and do hype the video so here in the Murph challenge you have to build 10 agents in 10 days but before that, you need to have prior knowledge of coding, at least of Python and working with CLIs, APIs, etc. If you don't have, then you won't be able to complete the challenge. So let's come to the challenge and how we have to start. First thing, the challenge started from 9 p.m. yesterday only. Okay. And now the challenge will be ending on 9 p.m. Unlike the 5 days AI agent course, here we have a deadline. You have only 24 hours to complete a challenge. So the challenge started around 9 p.m. yesterday and will be ending in 9 p.m. today. So make sure you start it. Here is the starter repository. I'll attach with the description box. You can check it out. So here you have to, you can see how it works. One day each task you have to complete on the same day. You have to build a voice agent with specific persona and skills. You have to post on GitHub. You have to just upload the files on your GitHub repository. And you have to post on LinkedIn. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, create a temporary account. Now here they have shared the repository structure. Okay. Here you can see they have created. There is no compulsion that you have to use the same backend frontend method. If you are skilled and you can use, you can use that also. But this for DFMO for beginner people. Now here. You can see all these things are mentioned like how it will do the features. Now, before we start the quick thing, you need to understand that your laptop, this can be only done on PC. First thing you need to install the VS code well, where you will be working and you need to install the Python, Node.js, Live Kit, CLI and server. How you have to do it? You have to come to this page and here you can just right click over here. And here you can see if you are in Mac, you can just select the Mac one and run your, your terminal. Or if you are from Windows, you can just run this one. Copy and just right click and paste on your terminal. Okay. After that, you have to in install Node.js with PNPM. You can just first of all install the Node.js. Just come to the browser. And from here, you have to first of all install the Node.js. Okay. You have to click on Node.js like this. And here you can see all these things are here. If you want to install in window, you can just click on windows and you can select your machine type also. After you have installed Node.js, you have to just type Node.js with PNPN. Like this you have to do. And here you have to just come over here and just select this or you can just select this PNPN installation page. From here, you can see that here is the command you to get the PNPN. Once you have done all these things, it's time to install the like it CLI. Okay. I know it's little bit complex, but if you have coding knowledge, then only you can complete. But I will try my best to bring the tutorial. If this video gets 1100 likes. So let's move to the next step. So now here we have to install the like it CLI. Here you can see for Windows also there is common like this. You have to install all these requirements and then you have to clone the repository and then you can see all these files are here. Many of you are asking how you'll get this API keys, URL, etc. You have to just go to that website. For example, if you are uh, want to build Google API key, that case you have to go to Google AI Studio like let me show. Let me show once again, where is the key port? So you have to just open it like this and just go to the AI studio. And there, this is a quick demo. I will try my best to make the project if possible. And if the video performs well, because actually I'm having fever. And it's little bit difficult for me to make a video just right now. So you have to click on get API key. And then here create API key. You have to name your key. You can name anything. And for the project you can just create the project like day 5. One more important thing. Do not create the API key daily till 10 days. You can use the same API key. After that you create the API key. Your API key will be visible over here. 
and here you have to just export the values in the dot in v file okay dot in v local file after that you have to run it and just complete all the steps so here you can see each day you'll be getting a new task you have to build voice agent now let's come to the day one task let me explain you the day one task this is basically a explanation video okay so here you come to the challenges page and here you can see day one task is here so first thing you need to understand that first this is a starter repo you have to just test it and make sure it's running after that you have to implement these things so here you have to connect to a voice agent in your browser and have a brief conversation just like we have with google gemini or alexa you have alexa turn on the light turn off the lab like this you have to ask questions and the agent will respond you have to take a screen recording of it and post it on linkedin whatever you have learned you can take help from the gpt there is no issue for writing the post here you can see once you have successfully connected you have to post a short video and on linkedin and make sure to add these hashtag okay so like this you have to complete all the challenge of day one and if you have any query you can let me know in the comment section and if this video performs well i'll try my best to make the solution and one more important thing do hide the video and do subscribe the channel for more thank you have a great day ahead